Hey there, and welcome back to No Recipe Required. Today we're gonna to continue on with our NFL inspired burger series. If you haven't checked out the series yet, go ahead and give it a uh, give it a look. I've got four or five videos up there already. Check out your team if it's up there. If not, give me suggestions because I'm still coming up with ideas for the remaining NFL teams. Today we're doing the Arizona Cardinals. Now, southeast, south, southwest, right? Southwest of the country. I was thinking we'll do a little bit of Tex-Mex inspired feel there. I've got some roasted uh, green chili that we're gonna lay on the bun. Some jalapeno jack cheese, obviously. Melted cheese, gotta have at least a little cheese. To top of that, guacamole and some pico de gallo. It all comes together, I think, in a really nice uh, really nice package. I'm gonna use a chicken burger. You can obviously use beef if you want, but I think the chicken kind of um, you know goes better with some of these toppings. Let them shine through and uh, makes it all kind of work really well together. Easy to do, I think you're gonna love it. Let's go ahead and get to it. So I'm gonna roast off a, a jalapeno pepper for our Arizona Cardinals burger. That's gonna help me get the skin off. We'll rub that off and then we'll take the insides out. You want a more mild pepper? Go ahead and use a more mild pepper. Okay, so after about five to seven or eight minutes or so, turning the pepper around, you're gonna get it fully blackened like that, which is what we want. Go ahead and kill the heat. If you got a little paper bag, you know, like an old sandwich bag, um, that's cool. But plastic works just fine as long as you don't, um, you know, touch the plastic to the burner or anything like that. It won't, uh, it won't melt just from the pepper. I'm gonna let this just sit in there, steam, cool down for about 10 minutes until it's um, cool enough to handle. And then that skin will just peel right off. We'll take out the seeds. Okay, so for our NFL burgers, I'm using chicken tonight. Now, I would normally, with a chicken burger, add some spices, add some herbs to boost up the flavor because chicken isn't quite the same as beef in terms of the flavor department. But since our toppings are so kind of crazy this time, really just salt and pepper and a good amount. We'll go a little more pepper. And then I'm just going to mix all that together. This is right before we're going to um, uh, shape and cook the, uh, the burgers. So go ahead and get that mix together and then portion it out to the size you want. You know, you can make these sliders, you can make them gin, uh, normal size burgers. We're going to get the patties and then um, we will cook them off and then get our toppings on them. Okay, we've got our patties formed. I'm going to go ahead and cook these off. I've got a pan here. Obviously pan here. When I'm cooking chicken burgers, I actually like um, non-stick pans because chicken is a little more delicate than um, beef burgers. And I also um, just lay it down there in the oil, good hot pan. You want to hear that sizzle. If it's not sizzling, it's not hot enough. And let it go for about three minutes on that side. Then we'll come in, flip it over, and um, then it's essentially going to be done in time for our Cardinals inspired toppings. Okay, so we're going to cook the burger about 60% or so on this first side. And then we're going to flip it over. You should see nice brown caramelization. You should see um, as well good noise, sizzling. That's what we're looking for. Now, every great burger has cheese, and I've got a little bit of jalapeno jack. What do you think? Should we go for two slices? Why not? We'll go for two slices. That's um, not a health food burger, right? Now, to make sure that uh, you don't want to, you want to obviously make sure the uh, chicken cooks through, but you don't want to overcook it. To make sure that cheese melts in time, I'm just going to cover it. It's going to create a little heat, a little steam in there. Once the cheese is melted, probably going to take two or three minutes. I think the burger is going to be done. Then we'll pull it off and we'll put everything together. Okay, about three or four minutes have gone by. Cheese is melted. If you got a bigger pan, go ahead. You can cover it with aluminum foil. You can cover it with a, uh, a metal pot or pan or bowl. You can use just about anything. We're going to kill the heat. We got that gooey, gooey cheese. Now, even chicken burgers need a little bit of time to rest. So I'm going to pull this off to a um, side uh, or a side pan and just let it, uh, let it chill for three or four minutes. Go ahead, toast the bun if you want to toast the bun. Um, and then we'll come back and top this thing with our, uh, with our Arizona toppings. All right, our Cardinal Burger is just about done resting. I've got our uh, roasted jalapeno pepper, which is gonna provide kind of a sweet heat to the, uh, to the burger. I'll lay that right down. Obviously, if you want mayo, if you want mustard to catch up any of those, feel free, knock yourself out. Burger goes right on top of our pepper. Then I'm gonna throw some guacamole. You can either make it, I've got a couple recipes up on my channel. Top that baby. And then our 
Pico de Gallo. You can, again, make this or buy it yourself. Pile it nice and high. Some great flavors coming together here. And then, that's our burger. Serve with some chips, serve with whatever you want. A little bun, nicely toasted. And we are good to go with our Arizona Cardinals burger. All right, guys, so I just finished our Arizona Cardinals burger, inspired burger, chicken patty, some jalapeno jack cheese, a roasted jalapeno, some guac, some pico de gallo. I should really cut this in half, but we'll just, we'll just dig right in. No, 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 no. That is pretty awesome. And a lemon or a lime from the, um, from the guac and from the pico de gallo is there. Nice accents, creaminess from the guac as well. Burger and cheese held it all together. It is absolutely awesome. Give it a try. Good luck to the Arizona Cardinals, and I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required. So I had a lot of fun coming up with this Arizona Cardinals inspired burger. I think you can tell from my first bite, I loved it. It certainly didn't take long for me to get the rest of it down. Go ahead and check out the series, like I said. I think you'll find some really cool burgers there. And uh, for my guacamole recipe, that the actual one that I used on this burger, go ahead and check out the link. I've got it posted here for you. And I will see you next time with my next NFL burger. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it.